Okay, so I have now finally put all those layouts into Nick's and Natalie's albums and feel like I have a pretty good handle on their albums. So I thought I would do an album share with you. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with Nick's albums and um, I'm just gonna share with you these two. He has two others that are his baby books. Um, they're sort of monthly layouts from newborn to 12 months. I'm not going to share those <laughs> with you, um, but I did think that these are excellent examples that, well, one of these albums is an excellent example of how to combine layouts with school photos with artwork. And um, the other one is just an archive of the way I used to scrapbook when I did um, 12 by 12 double page layouts. I thought you guys might like to see those. So I'm going to um, set this one aside and we're going to start at the preschool album. So let me see if I can get it lined up and get some glare out of here. Does that help at all? That looks, that looks pretty good. Okay, and so opening pages. <laughs> there is something that I, opening and ending pages are something that I struggle with um, and something that is lacking in several of these albums. So I'll be working on that to um, to fill that gap. I am keeping a going list on the side about just some random things that are coming to me as I'm going through these. When I went through Nick's albums, I discovered several stories, or actually when I went through his artwork, there were several stories in there that do need to be told about his personality and about how he how he did his work when he was in kindergarten and first grade and some funny stories about his teachers. Um, so, um, you know, I've made notes about those, but this is a good example of a really good opening page to me that says this is sort of what this album is about. This is about Nick and, you know, I don't have to pick I don't have to pin down a certain time frame because I think that our albums will evolve and they can evolve. I can still add layouts, I can remove layouts from this album and this layout will still be relevant. There is a little bit of journaling. Um, I wrote this journaling when he was getting ready to go to preschool. And so that seems relevant for a preschool themed album. Um, this is where he came from and this is who he is at that starting point. Now, one thing about this album is that it does not have a book plate on the spine. I'm probably going to add one and that will probably be sort of how I define what's in this album. And then if I change later, I can change the book play or change what's in the book play. But that I'll deal with um, some other time. I, wa I really just wanted to get these albums organized right now. So that's a, a, good, a good opening layout. If you're, if you're ever stumped for how to open an album, pick Pick just a, a meaningful photo of where they are at the time and where they started from. So obviously there's going to be a combination here of double page layouts, maybe a couple of single page layouts, and then schoolwork. There's also, there are some photographs of children in this album that we don't have contact with anymore, so you'll see sticky notes so that I can maintain some privacy for that. Um, some of his artwork, the, the little boy here is also wearing um, headphones and they were listening to each other's heartbeat that day. A calendar, that's an example of what their weekly calendar was like. Um, a fun day, the teacher brought in um, dry ice and they did monster bubbles that day. This is a picture of the whole class 
and then of course I wrote down all the all the students' names. If you had asked me to write those na down today, I wouldn't have been able to. Um, so yeah, you know, good information. These are some of the professional portraits that were done. I don't have a lot of professional portraits. They're not something that I'm really fond of, but this teacher, the, not teacher, this preschool had a really good photographer come twice a year and he did a pretty good job with them. So those are in here. And what this is one thing that I have not done in Natalie's albums. I have not scrapbooked these photos in her albums. So that will be on my list to do. Um, some performances that they had, more artwork, more of the professional photos that they did. This is one of the crowns. There are a couple of little crowns and then I have pictures that go with those crowns. So there it is and there it is on his head. And that to me, that makes it relevant. Um, those are particular things to hold on to. I have some notes. I have some particular notes that you will find on my blog. Um, linked in this video because there are some some particular things about artwork that I learned from this that I'll share with you about what what to save some ideas that I came up with of things that I think are important to save and also layouts that I think are important to create on a yearly basis for our kids albums if you if you want to go back in previous years and you're sort of lost or don't really know where to start, I can give you some ideas on what I think are the, the important. They're all important, but we can't do them all. Um, so this is his second year of preschool, and this is the first day of him going back. So that's an important day. More artwork and um, their Halloween, more little artwork, the Christmas, Christmas sing-along that they had that year, another um, professional portrait, more artwork, that's another one of those crowns that they made or little visors that they made, a snow day in March. It's pretty unusual for North Carolina. Another professional layout or professional photograph layout. And then um, another, well, they call it Spring Sing. Right? I have his Valentines. All of his little Valentines from his classmates are in here. <laughs> That's so cute. Um, and that's a great, if you have those, fantastic. If you don't, it's okay. Um, but they are a cute little time capsule of, you know, who was in his class and their little signatures. Um, this is in a layout of some write, handwriting samples that I did or that I clipped and saved. There's more of that. I still have more of his artwork that's still to be archived in some way. Um, the circus that came and then his graduation and so and then I have his this is a, a cool little way that you can preserve their tassels um, it's a little bit dingy in there but that's okay you know that's gonna happen at least we know that it's in a good place and of course his little <laughs> his little graduation photo um, so that is that album, and I know I'm going kind of fast, but I want to get, I have four albums I want to share with you. So this is going to be a little bit, a little bit lengthy, but good, hopefully good. So let me get this one out of the way. And then this one is more of his five, six, seven age. Um, 
And so I'll explain to you how these start out. When I started scrapbooking, I started in 8.5 by 11 format. So his baby books are actually 8.5 by 11. And then at some point I switched to 12 by 12. And these are some of the layouts that I created where he was a baby, but they are 12 by 12. And so, of course, I can't put them in the 8.5 by 11 books, but I decided to put them here because Again, they share another story of where he came from and then how, where he gets to, I guess. Um, so, a little bit of history first and then what the album is really about. Um, just, you can see some of my style is starting to emerge here. Um, this is his first birthday. And this is... This is a great idea, an insert. I could do um, I could do Becky Higgins 8x10 inserts, but I had 8x11, so I just put a piece of cardstock there, and it's clipped. So, you know, that's an easy way to do an insert. And these two layouts aren't necessarily related, they, but they do, they do look, work well together in the flow of the album. They're a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun to scrapbook his, his, his happy little photos. Um, this is important in, in his history. This is when, right after Natalie was born. So it's a good layout to have here. And then some of the family layouts that I had created. The pumpkin patch. He actually made this in school, and it's the I love you symbol, and so they they traced their hands and then folded that down. So that's a good thing to include on a layout, um, a fun little cousin's layout. And then this is his second year at Covenant. It's a sort of almost a repeat of what's in the last album. But that's okay. I think that's totally fine. Um, we have, a, there's a butterfly farm that's local to us. We went there several times. You'll see another layout about that. Um, a pool party with his cousins. And then here we kind of start his year five. And what the album is actually about is when he was five, six, seven, eight, I guess. So his birthday, birthday, birthday. So he got his bike. The um, preschool visited the fire station. So this is actually a photo of all of them lined up on the fire truck. It's so cute. It's so cute, y'all. But I want to preserve some identities there um, at the zoo. His first visit from the Tooth Fairy. And then um, off to kindergarten. And so, and there's actually a really cool story. His bus driver, um, she drove that bus. I don't know exactly how many years, but she just retired last year. And um, so Natalie had her as a bus driver too. And um, they... They had her as their bus driver at their dad's house, and then we, when we moved here, she stayed as their bus driver for both houses. Um, so it's a really cool story. I'm glad we have pictures of her. Um, she's been part of their every day. Um, part, for both of them, that's really cool. Um, it's probably actually a story that I will explore more in depth later on at some point. The Pumpkin Patch. Halloween. They had um, Chucks or Converse, so they were playing around on the sofa that day. And then a uh, birthday layout when he turned six. Back to school. This would be for first grade. 
and there's Miss Brenda again on the school bus. And then he had some some sports that he did, mostly t-ball. Um, so I have a couple of layouts in here from that. Another pumpkin patch layout. And a birthday layout. And then another sports layout. And yep, that's all for this album. So that's Nick's albums, albums, and then I will come back to you with Natalie's albums.